This video sets the beginning of a new series I want to do before the release of the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. I want to try and complete every boss and quest line in this playthrough, and I'll do all of that as guts, but not the vanilla game version. I installed a few mods, the links to them are in the description. I hope you'll enjoy it, and now let's travel to the lands between and start our journey. Of course I started off by creating the character. I used a tutorial that I will link in the description but added a few changes here and there. I took the golden seed as my keepsake and the adventure could begin. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost race speaks to us all. I jump down because of agnophobia or something. And a weird lady and her gold thing didn't care to call the ambulance. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. Anyhow, I took the elevator up and opened the gates to Limgrave. I talked to a totally not suspicious guy, and he said I was maidenless. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. But I ignored it, as he told me what I had to do. I just had to follow the golden light. So I went to the church of Ellen nearby and talked to Kale. He recommended me to buy the crafting kit, but I think the gold lady robbed me, so I had zero runes to my name. I followed the road north, cleared the camp, collected the items and sat down at the gates from Grace. For you an accord. I settled Torrent and went uphill to the Storm Shack, meeting Roderica. She told me about another scion in Stormvale Castle and gave me the jellyfish ashes. I continued to travel east and freed Alexander the Iron Fist. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Before traveling even further in the east and meeting a guy called D. Yeah, I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. The village here has been touched by death. And worse yet, it is home to a mariner. After taking care of the Tibia Marina, D warned me about, I entered this room full of dogs to obtain the green dog talisman and venturing east even more. I entered a church and got attacked by Anastasia. I collected my rooms and sat down at the craze, which made Melana appear. Forgive me. I've been testing you. She took me to the round table hold. But for now, I had no business there, so I just greeted everyone, forgetting the existence of Gideon, as always. Well, just call me Dianos. I teleported back to the church to kill Anastasia. Mm -hmm. 
I went inside Caled for a short time, ran through Gay Tunnel, meeting Alexander the second time, who got stuck in that tunnel on his way to Redmain Castle. We're dead end, I'm sure of it. What's going on here? A door from thin air. I left the tunnel exit close to the third church of America, so I went there and collected the wondrous physics and listened to Melina, before taking the teleporter D told me about and meeting the rank. He gave me the beast eyes, which would help me find death fruits in the future. Feed me. I quickly collected the golden seed outside as well as the set of grace next to the bridge. Back at the third church, I traveled south and heard a wolf howl. I snuck by the room bear, grabbed the axe talisman and continued south until I collected the next set of crates. I wanted to talk to Kale about the howl, but was interrupted by this fine lady. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch Vela. She gave me the spirit calling bell before vanishing into nothingness like Melina always does. Nonetheless, I talked to Kale, who explained that I had to snap when I heard the howl again. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. With that info, I first talked to Kenneth Hyde, whose castle has been run over by a commander from Stormvale. I offered my help and went to the Mistwood ruins. I snapped my finger and a huge wolfman jumped down the tower. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by that of them. I entered Fort Haig and died twice trying to win it back. Third time the charm, I guess. Then I told Kenneth about my victory. After that I freed the demi-human bog from his miserable state and cleared the way to Sorceress Salon as well. Tarnish, darling. I wonder you should turn up here. I am Salon, a sorcerer quite clearly. On my way south I collected the first scroll before finding the other jail housing Daryl. It was no problem with life cell. I crossed the bridge in the south and entered the Weeping Peninsula, where I met Irina. Is somebody there? I traveled further south and collected the three sacred tears before entering Castle Moor. I found Irina's father Edgar, but he wouldn't believe with a certain sword in the hands of the misbegotten. To the wrong hands. I traveled through Castle Moor even further and found Leonine the misbegotten. With Edgar and my jelly body poisoning Leonine, he was dead with easily. I visited Edgar again and when I wanted to meet with him and Irina, Irina had passed away. Pretty sad that we don't get to see her again. Back south of the big lake in Limgrave, I met the samurai Yura. He warned me about something but I didn't really care and explored the lake anyway, leading to my death by Aegil's entrance. To be honest, I thought that this would kill me somehow but well. I tried it a second time and was able to slay the first dragon. After that I went for a beach trip, finding a cave with bog inside. I summoned old knight Eastbound and we slaughtered all demi-humans, retrieving the tailoring tools and sewing needle. And after giving Bok the sewing needle, Murky Water Cave was close by, so I stepped in and found patches. I re-entered his place and opened his chest, teleporting me in between a handful of room bears. After a quick run to the near trace, I visited him again and bought Margit's shackle. I gathered a few more smithing stones and collected the best weapon in the game. 
After that, I travel to the round table hold and board in the armor of the twin maiden husk. I made the last level up I was missing to be able to wield the Dragon Slayer and finally created Gideon. With the new armor, upgraded sword and Rogier as well as my jellyfish on my side, I challenge market, even though you can't call this a challenge, because one of the mods gives the sword the moon of death effect as well as giving it a way faster and better moveset. After we played with Margaret, I met Gostok and let him open the gate. This was my first time trying to enter Stormbear through the front gate and damn this is tough without having leveled into Vigor. I somehow managed to get the tower side of Grace and defeated the weird lion from Fairy's quest. Got the next set of prays and went to meet Rogia. After that, I wanted to search some smithing stones too, but I just couldn't find one of them, so I spoke with Nefeli and after that, traveled to High Rape Cave, giving me enough stones to upgrade the sword to plus 6. I let Fia hold me and gave Rodrigo the keepsake of her man before summoning Nefeli and facing off Godric the Golden. Even though I didn't need it, I activated the Berserker armor and almost ended Godric before he could enter his second phase. After that I talked to the stock shortly before going to the round table hold and talking with Rogier and Dee as well as Rodrigo who gave me another golden seed and Master Hugh who helped Rodrigo find her power as a spirit tuner. Lastly I talked to Nefeli and the old finger reader before going back to Stormwell and searching the reason why Rogier is in his state. After going way down I fought a lesser ulcerated tree spirit and found this weird stone face as well as a blood stain showing Rogier's death. I climbed the ladder back up and visited Rogier again and talked to Fia about him. She gave me a map marking the location of a knife branch Rogier had been searching. Lastly, I cleared the French Folk's hero's grave before fighting the three golems. And heading up this tower to reactivate Godric's great room. And with that, we come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I hope to see you in the next video, Dear Tarnished.